sat there, Johnny. Look at that scenario, look. There we are, Can you tell me what your viewers were on the game? Brilliant. 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 some of the games. Joey Malone. I've met Matthew, John and Bill, Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Dundalk Supporters Club. <laughs> right, John, can you tell me your views on the game, what you thought? Well, it was quite interesting game, the, particularly the atmosphere, it was a wonderful day out and I think everybody enjoyed it. Uh, the comments from some of the people at the game in regards to it being a penalty or not, um, my first views were that it was definitely a penalty, and then watching the action replay on television, my mind hasn't changed. Has it changed? Larry White is definitely And could you tell me who the player of the match was, in your opinion? I think definitely Gino Lawless. Gino Lawless. With Martin all enough far behind him. OK, John, now we go over to Bill. Bill, your views on the game itself. Mike John, uh, very pleased with the behaviour of our supporters, especially, and also the Derry supporters. <laughs> Say brilliant was put in Riley, they were absolutely fantastic. The game itself was not what we had expected, it was not a classic. We haven't said that. The doc put up a very professional performance, did what they had to do. The penalty was a penalty in my estimation because he was pushed. If he had fallen, everyone would have said clear penalty, but he stayed on his feet. It still was a penalty. The referee was entirely right, but penalty or not, we were still a penalty. And tell me this, your man of the match? Martin Lawler. Martin Lawler. Yes. And what about Europe next year? Who, who yeah, are you we talking want about? Celtic next year. Celtic next Celtic year. Celtic home first. OK. And then, and then, and then uh, either Inter Milan or Napoli in the second. In the second round. Yes. Well, that'll, that's something to look forward to. Right, Bill and John, thank you. The Harry Lee shop here in Crow Street oh, in Dundalk. <laughs> and I'm speaking now to two young fans who was at the game uh, in Daily Mail. Is that right? Yes. And who have we here? What's your name? Kieran. Kieran. And what's your views on the game, Kieran? Well, it was a disappointing game, but I'm glad it was results. The results suited you, did it? Yeah. What do you think of Dundalk winning the double? That's <coughs> oh, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic is it? And uh, <coughs> who was your player of the year, or the player of the match? Um, it was Joey Malone. Joey Malone? Yeah. You think Joey was the best man on the, on the, on the field? Is that right? Yeah. And who's this alongside you here? Jackie Warren. You have two friends, eh? Yes. Yeah. Jackie, you were at the game uh, on yeah. Sunday, were you? Yeah. And what was your views on the game, Jackie? It's pretty scrappy, but I'm glad. <laughs> You're glad the dog won? Yeah. Tell me this. What about the penalty? Was it a penalty? I think so. He shoved him off the ball. So you, you definitely think it was a penalty? A lot of people say it wasn't a penalty. He was going for the ball and he was shoved off it. Do you think the dog would have scored if he, if he hadn't have referee hadn't um, have blown. Yeah, does he go on had a few good chances and so would Terry Everson. Break his hammer, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and your man in the match? Uh, John Cleary or Gino Lawless. John Cleary or Gino Lawless. So there you are. You've had a really good day, had you? Yeah. What about the reception in the dark when they came home? Was that at Pitt Street? Yeah, it was great. You really enjoyed it? Yeah. OK, thanks very much here from Harry Lee's and Crow Street in the dark. Thank you. Harry Lee, a fanatic on Dundalk, as you can see from the shop window display.
up here in Chelly's in the Dundalk Shopping Centre, the leather shop here, and I'm talking to a fanatic of Dundalk supporter, Brendan Megan. Well, Brendan, can you tell me what your views on the Dundalk and Derry FAI Cup final was? Uh, it wasn't a great game, but it was an exciting match. Exciting for us, anyway. Because Dundalk won, obviously. Of course. What about the penalty? Was it one or was it not? Uh, I would think it was an indirect free kick, but it was a pretty harsh decision against Derry, I think. But uh, obviously you're happy enough with the, the way it went. Yeah, I think for by the penalty, Dundalk would have beaten him anyway. They would have attacked him more so. They still would have beaten him. Yeah, what so. about the Derry supporters? Unbelievable. It was a carnival atmosphere the whole time. And you really enjoyed your day out? Yeah. As we were leaving Dublin, we went into a pub which called the Cat and Cage, just in Drumcondra. And we met up with the lads there, they were staying in the hotel across the road, and we had a great sing song with them. So you had a wonderful we, day? We had a, we sang the, the Henry Love So Well to them, and they sang a couple of other songs to us. What about Europe next year? Who are you looking forward to? Uh, I don't think we should fear anyone. If you're no one out after winning the double. After winning the double, yeah. And tell me this, uh, your man of the match. Man of the match, I think Martin Lawler had a storm again. So you would give it to Martin Lawler? I would give it to him, yeah. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much indeed. We're in Shelley's uh, letter shop in Dundalk Shopping Centre. We are talking now to the owner, Brian Cosgrove. Okay, Brian, you were at the game on Sunday, were you? Yes, indeed. And what was your views on the game? Uh, not a great game if you were in neutral, but obviously the victory was good if you were from Dundalk. So you were very happy with the results? I was, yeah. I'd like to see a more comprehensive win, though, in terms of goals. Tell me this. What about the penalty kick? Uh, the more I look at it, I think it was harsh enough. Had it been against Dundalk, I would have been very annoyed. You would have been very but annoyed. I felt that we should have got a penalty even previous to that. So but you think... Gino Lawless was fouled. Yeah. And tell me this. Your man of the match. Who would you go for? Thank you. Um, I think John Cleary. John Cleary. Yeah. Why? Why John? Uh, he just went out to do a job, and to me, he did it extremely well. That was Mark, the most dangerous player on the field. What do you think happened to the team? They were practically the same team as played Shamrock Rovers last year in the cup final, and yes, they were destroyed in the cup final. Well, I think they had the incentive this year that they were going, they were going for a double. They had the league one. They were had come. I mean, every game this past ten games, I think, has been a cup final situation to them because they've been under pressure with winning, leading the league table. Everybody wanted to beat them. They had crunch matches, and it stood to them this time when they came up against the likes of Derry. Tell me this: What do you think was the turning point a few weeks ago? Well, I suppose everybody would think, uh, obviously, the, the, the Derry game, where they came back from the dead. Came back from two nothing down yeah, to win three two. Yeah. I mean, if had we not won that, the league was over, I think. Yeah, yes. So, what about St. Patrick's Athletic? You feel sorry for them? Yes, I do. But, I mean, they, they did get into Europe, and I suppose that, for them, has been a fantastic season. Yeah, Anybody well... but Bohemians get into Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Another way of looking at it, Pats won nothing and Derry won nothing, but Dundalk brought them all into Europe. Well, that's true, so yeah. So, that, that leaves yeah, you very happy. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's one way a fair of assessment of the, of the league. Okay, it's Brian. football in Dublin, the fact that Pats, for a change, have got in. And they've got in on merit. On merit. Rather than getting in the back door, if you like, as Bohemians have done several times. Okay. Right, Brian, from Shell is here. Downstairs. I'm speaking to the owner, Desi Dunn. Well, uh, Desi, uh, what was your view on the game on Sunday? Well, I definitely don't get a, get a very good professional performance. and did play very well. And that's result in the end. What about the, what about the Derry supporters? Uh, they were magnificent, magnificent support from Derry. Very sporting, and uh, pity in a way to see them not getting anything out of the cup now. Very sporting performance from the Derry team and supporters. You're falling in the dark quite quite a while now. Yeah, a good while. Now. How long would you be falling in the dark? Too long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Too long to say. Too long to say. So. And tell me this, your man of the match. Uh, my man of the match certainly would be uh, John Cleary. John Cleary. Yeah. yeah. He had, a, he had a, a magnificent game. Yes, he had a very good game. And uh, the turning point of uh, them not winning the league championship, would you say it was the Derry City game? When they beat Derry? Ah, the game, when they were down with, with 13 minutes to go, yeah, they came back and beat Derry, and I thought that was the turning point. And yeah. you think that was the making of them yeah. pulling off the double? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, Desi, thank right. you very much indeed. Thanks thank you. I'm here in Dundalk in a place called Winds Terrace and I'm speaking to a Dundalk supporter, uh, Pat Darcy. Pat, you were at the game on Sunday between Dundalk and Derry City in the Cup Final. Can you tell me something about the game, your views on the game? Yes, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was a typical Cup tie. The atmosphere was tremendous. Am I wrong? Uh, the atmosphere was tremendous. Uh, it brought me back to years ago when we used to have the big fight in the Cup Final with David McMahon. Tell me this, what do you think of the Derry supporters? I thought they were absolutely fantastic. No I've trouble at all. Supporters in all parts of the world, but I think Derry supporters are right in the room. Tell me this, uh, the penalty. Was it a penalty or was it not? Well, football is a strange thing, and for me, it was definitely a penalty, and I'm not saying that because I'm a supporter of them, though. Uh, I did think that Derry should have got a penalty, a handball, but you asked me about the penalty for them, though. Definitely. The man fouled uh, Larry Wise in the penalty area. He was in a scoring position. He was moving in towards goals. So, so no doubt about it, it was a no, penalty in, in my mind. Opinion. No doubt about it, it was a penalty. Okay, Pat. Now a little more about man of the match. Well, who would your man of the match be in the cup final? Well, my man of the season was Gino Lawless, and my man of the match had to be Gino Lawless. I thought he was outstanding in defence and in attack. What about, what do you think was the turning point of Dundalk winning the league championship? Well, the turning point, number one, was Harry McHugh coming back. He steadied the whole defence, gave great confidence to the whole team, and the comeback against Derry, which was something that we'll hardly ever see again. In Oreo Park when they were 2 nothing down. Were Here in Dundalk outside Mackin's Ladderbridge in Park Street, we are talking to a Dundalk supporter. Kieran Mackin. Okay, Kieran, you were at the cup final on Sunday. Yes. Can you give me your comments on the game? The game itself was uh, it wasn't a bad game. The only thing I hate seeing a cup final decided on a penalty. I would have preferred maybe Dundalk winning three two. It was great to see Dundalk winning. Tell me this, was it a penalty? Uh, it was a wee the decision was a wee bit harsh. So you have your doubts but about I it being doubts, a penalty. But, uh, I'm not saying it, I wasn't complaining though when he pointed to the spot, you know. Can you tell me this? What do you, do you think was the turning point of Dundalk winning the league championship? Can you uh, pinpoint it? The Derry Dundalk game, when Dundalk beat Derry 3 2 up in Oriel Park. Great game. And tell me this, Kieran. Uh, your man of the match on Sunday? Martin Murray. Martin Murray. Yeah. Man of the match. Yes, well, he played a good game. He missed, he missed an awful centre, so he did. Second half, but. We played a good, good enough game. Tell me this too. Uh, the crowds when you come home from Dublin, the scenes in Dublin Street. Did you ever see that like them before? When the dog returned with the cup? It was, the scenes were unbelievable. But even with the Derry fans, great, great crowds that were. Um, swapping scarves after the game, shaking hands. It was marvellous. So it was. Never seen anything. Isn't it, Patsy? Yeah. Tell me this. Uh, you were at the game on Sunday. I wasn't here, Pats, yeah. And what did you think of what did you think of the game in general? Uh, it was fairly good. Like the dog fans, the fans I thought won the match overall, like, you know, the better defence and I thought Desi Gorman had one great chance if he had a square on the ball to Terry Evans. Tell me this one thing I'm asking all the supporters around and dog. The penalty, was it a penalty? In your in your opinion, was it a penalty? Very brave decision by a referee in a cup final, I thought myself. So it would That's, be. I think if I was a referee, well, I suppose an infringement in the box is a penalty, as you know yourself, Pat. Yeah. And tell me this your man of the match on the day? I thought the cap. I thought the cap was yeah, so I thought he was outstanding. What about the scenes at History Bridge when the team arrived home from Dublin? Well, brilliant. Like, unbelievable, was un it? Unbelievable, and even the the Derry supporters in Dublin. Yeah. You know, changing scarves with the dog. They, they didn't mind being bad. I know it was hard to swallow, but they didn't mind being beaten. Didn't mind being beaten. Okay, Brown, Brown Boom and Derry. Donnelly. Yes. You are a big supporter of Dundalk Football Club still. You were a former player with them, and you won 
uh, FAI Cup medal with them. You were at the game on Sunday, obviously, between Derry City and the Cup final. Can you tell me your views on the game? Views on the game? From my point of view, it was very exciting because there was always the chance of Derry City in place, and that would have more. But the team played very well, especially the defence. And uh, my man in the match, as far as I suppose, would be Joey Malone. Friends, Joey Malone? Friends. Yes, yes. So Joey would be definitely your man in the match? Yes. And, and it's, it's probably maybe a bit unfair, there was three, three or four more players, including the wee forward line. Go very forward. So what about Desi Gorman? Desi Gorman played a lonely bat like time. He was left on his own a good few times and he had to try and make the opening on his own. Uh, if he had to get a bit of support, I think we would have won by a couple more points. And the other local, Barry Kill. What about Barry? Well, Barry... I obviously seen Barry playing in the under times better, but he still played his part. He done his job anyway. Yes. He done his job. But what about the penalty, Joe? The penalty is for, I've seen the penalty on tele on television. Video. Yeah. And we've slowed it up and we've seen the penalty actually it happened inside the penalty area. And it wasn't a nudge, it was a push. And a push is a foul. And that's all. It was a penalty, a fair penalty. One reporter said it wasn't, another said it's a matter of opinion. But for me, it was a definitely a penalty. So you were happy enough that it was a penalty? Yes. Oh, definitely. Yes. definitely. Happy enough with a yeah, penalty. Enjoy. Push, push it was. What about the, the scenes at Hitsy Bridge while the team arrived home? <laughs> Have you seen anything like it before? i never seen anything like it. It took us two hours and a half to come from Fairways down to Hitsy Bridge. That would give you an idea of the trade that was there. Yeah. And how nobody was hurt with the oh, van going through. Yeah. I don't know. The civic guards did a wonderful job, but to keep them out of trouble. And the dairy supporters? The dairy supporters, I have to hand it to them. They were very good, and they came in and wished us all the best. Jim McLaughlin told us the best team won, and that's enough for me. So you are very, very happy with them pulling off the double? Yes, very, very happy. OK, Joey Donnelly here in Dundalk. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Harry Lee's here in Crow Street in Dundalk. We are speaking to a former Dundalk player, Joe Boy Barnigan. Joe Boy, you were at the game on Sunday between Dundalk and Derry, the well, cup well, final. Yeah. Can you give me your views on the game? Yeah, well, the first half, we thought it was a very good first half, what we've seen, you know. Yeah. And I, I tell you, the penalty kick was definitely a penalty kick. You're, you're sure it was a penalty kick? Once, once it's inside the, inside the box, so you've no doubt at all it was a penalty kick. No doubt the world was a penalty kick. And tell me this, uh, your man of the match? Well, I can point up to Alan O'Neill. Alan O'Neill? Yeah. Played a blind the video yeah. in the goals. Yeah. And uh, what about the crowd? Fantastic. Derry supporters, what do you think of them? Oh, wonderful. No, no doubt in the world. Do you feel sorry for them because they, they yeah. lost the cup final? We feel sorry they lost the cup final. That's the way cup is, you know. Yeah. Some team has to lose, you know. So, yeah, on, on the whole day, you were very, very happy with the very way happy with the performance in the North Park. What about the crowd in the North when they came home with the, with the league and the cup? Fantastic, Bob and Parks. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. When we got off the bus, we just couldn't believe that the crowd was there, you know. Yeah. Just fantastic. You know. A couple of thousand people there. Oh, thousand. Oh, thousand. OK, Joe Boy, thanks right. very much indeed. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank right. you very much. Harry Lee's here in Dundalk once again. And we have just met the chairman of Dundalk Football Club, Mr Eamon Heine. Eamon, your first year as chairman of Dundalk Football Club and you pull off the double. How does that feel? Well, it feels really fantastic. Very rewarding for the year. Hard years work. Very, very hard years work. Well, it's always hard in football. But the pressure paid off. Yes, in the end it did pay off. Very good side. You were at the game on Sunday, obviously. Oh, yes. Your views on the game, Amy? I thought it was a very tight game. I thought that the wind didn't help play. And the pitch itself was very hard. A penalty kick? Well, technically it was a penalty. I, I watched this a couple of times on video. And yeah. It certainly to me seemed, seemed a penalty. And a little question, I know I'm going to put you on the spot here. Your man of the match? Well, I, I would pick... 12 players as men of the match, but uh, I would single out possibly Harry McHugh, John Cleary, Martin Murray. I'd probably single them all out. Yeah, so obviously the whole team, the, te the, the team in general played uh, very, very, very good very... team effort because I felt that Derry's players were all individuals. We played as a good, solid team. And the funny thing about it is the same team played in the cup final last year and yet they were tore apart. Yeah, and yeah, they come this year and they do the double. 
it's very hard to put your finger on what happened last year. I think a combination of nerves, uncertainty, and then the first goal was very controversial. And the scenes at Hill Street Bridge while the team came home with the double. Did you ever see anything like it? Never witnessed anything like it. I've spoken to a lot of people who have been part of this type of celebration over the years, and they have never witnessed anything like it. Yesterday in the dog I spoke to some supporters and they were hoping to get Glasgow Celtic next year in the European Cup. Would that be a nice draw for, for yourself? It doesn't matter who it is because I think we're going to go a couple of rounds in the European Cup this year. Is that capable of maybe even going the whole way next year? <laughs> okay, Eamon. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, we are now speaking to Harry Lee himself, the owner of the Harry Lee shoe shop here in Crow Street. Harry, I can see you must be a fanatic on the dog. Well, we've won the double. Yeah, yeah, it was great, man. It was great after obviously, all the years. Obviously, you were, at, you were at this game on Sunday. Oh, yes, indeed. We were first into Daniel Park on Sunday, I understand. Yeah. And your views of the game? Uh, very tight. Not a great game. Good atmosphere. Uh, great dairy support. But uh, I enjoyed it. The one. That's Compare the fine with last year's fine. You were at last year's fine. Yeah, they left off the in the second half. Yeah, completely different. The atmosphere and everything was great. Absolutely. And uh, your man of the match, Harry. Down to doubt to me, John Cleary. John Cleary. Yeah. What about this penalty? Um, again, like Eamon before me there, I watched it on the video, and they listened to what Larry Wise had to say about it, and uh, it was harsh, but it was a penalty. It was definitely yeah. a penalty. Yeah. And the Derry supporters? Marvellous. We met them on the way up and on the way back. Great crack with them, and... Uh, no trouble, nothing. But on top of that, the dog supporters were very, very good last Sunday. And the scenes at Hill Street Bridge, while the dog returned with the double. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I'll never forget it. It was just unbelievable. Would you say it was better than the time they pulled off the double with under Jimmy Blockner? Yeah, I don't even remember that. I, I, I remember it been very vaguely, but last Sunday I'll never forget it. Yeah, it must be a couple of thousand people there. Oh, yeah, yeah, easily. Very so good. you're looking forward to the new season? Yeah, it'd be hard to win the two next year. Yeah, well, what about yours? Who do you want now? Who would like to see the dog drawn in, in the European Cup? Oh, any, anyone at all. After that, last on everything else is just a bonus. A lot of supporters are saying they'd love to see Seth coming. Uh, Jerry Coleman sitting next to Joey Malone, Dailyman Park with the FAI Cup. Grounds of Oriel Park. A few days after the dog's fantastic double winning event. And we are talking here to Patrick. Campbell. And Patrick Campbell, Tony Callan, Tony Callan, and himself, Mickey Fox. Yes, right. Now, you've read the game on Sunday. That's right. That's right. Can you give me your views on the game, Patrick? Was it a good game in your own opinion? Oh, or? it was a good game. The the tougher deserving of the win. You, yes. th you definitely think they, they definitely deserve to win the game? So. Yes, they played well. What about the penalty? Do you think it was a penalty? Oh, sure, sure. I saw the film several times, and he, he pushed your man. Uh, so, no doubt about it, in oh, your opinion. I have the slightest doubt about it. And Tony, your view on the penalty? Well, my opinion, it was a very hard game. I think what won for the dark on the day was the work of the defence. They played magnificent. And what Eddie about... Eddie Gorman was good up front, but he was lashing another striker with him. Yeah. And the penalty, your view on that oh, penalty? Oh, yes, it was a penalty, all right. Pushed up. Not just because you're no. associated with the no, Dark Football no, Club? No, it was a penalty. It was definitely a penalty. Yes. And Mickey, yourself? What was your opinion on the game? Well, I thought it was a hard game. It was a typical cup game. It was a game that could have won anyway, but I thought at the end of the day it was off with a better team. And as a matter of fact, I think they should have won by another goal or two. And this penalty that everyone's talking about? Well, there was no question. It was a penalty. There was a third in the box and that's them. And tell third me this. In the box is a penalty. I, I know I know it's hard for you to pick a man of the match because you're associated with the club, but your man of the match as a matter of interest, just the man that you think... Well, I think without a shadow of a doubt, John Cleary was my man of the match. Not John Cleary. Not scored a penalty, but it was the way he played at the back and cleaned up and did all the loose pieces and everything, and I think he was absolutely magnificent. I see you are getting ready for European football next year already. <coughs> oh, yeah, but you have to get ready because uh, it's, it's a big job, and the pitch all has to get a place to start for every, every year, and this is the start of it. So, no, no delay, straight no, into no, it? No, straight away, because we want... To, we probably hope we get one of the top teams and one of the one of the top pitches in the country. That's that's great, Matty. Mickey, I mean, and here back to yourself. Uh, the view is at Hill Street Bridge when when the team came back home. 
There must have been a couple of thousand people there. Oh, there were several thousand. It was a great S welcome all together. Did you ever see that nigger before? No, never. And it was a wonderful boost for them down. Would it be bigger than the time that when Jim McLaughlin was here? Yes, a lot bigger. A lot bigger. I'm more enthusiastic about it. Down to the square, right down through the whole town. They give them a great reception. And well, yourself, you're working for here very hard to get yes, the pitch ready. Yes, for the European match. For the Euro European football. All into Hopefully it'll be Glasgow Celtic. Yes. Well, hope. Hopefully. Yeah, well, yeah. And yourself, the views of Hill Street Bridge, in your opinion? Oh, it was great. Bigger yeah, again? Yes, it turned out well. Yeah. So, what do you think of the team? Why did the team fail so much last year in the cup final, and yet they were basically the same team? Is it, would it be because they had already won the double, or the, the league, that they were uh, chasing the double that made yes, them play that little could, bit? Could. But overall, over the last three years now, they have been in the top three. Yes. So it had to come off. The double had to come off. Had to come off, yeah. Under Toller O'Connor. Yeah. Okay, man. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, thank Bye. Thank you. Ben O'Hanlon Park now, and I'm speaking to Peter Duffy, who has been a lifelong supporter of Dundalk Football Club. Well, Peter, I do believe you were in Daly Main Park last Sunday for the Dundalk versus Derry City FAI Cup final. Can you give me your views on the game? Well, uh, it's a typical cup game, great, exciting stuff, boring. I watched it on the video this morning, but it was more exciting to be at the match, and the atmosphere was great. And everybody's saying a lot about the Derry supporters, but my God, the Dundalk supporters were fantastic too. Tell me this, what was the big change in the Dundalk team? Like last year, probably the same team played against Shamrock Rovers, and yet they completely froze on the big day. What was the difference this year? But to come out and to win the double. I'd say like after getting the league, there was no pressure on the dog at all. All the pressure was on the Derry. And that's just the dog was able to go out and play just as they wanted. Could you go back to a particular game when the dog's fortunes changed, that the big push for the, the double came off? Oh, I'd say no doubt about it. It was a game against Derry and Oriel Park, and they were getting bet 2 nothing with 12 minutes to go. Most fantastic game ever I've seen. The finish to it, anyway. What about uh, Desi Gorman yesterday in, in the cup final? Did you think he had a good game or was I he marked out a game? He worked very hard up there on his own all the time. Great try, never stopped running all the time. And the other local player, Barry Kyo. Barry Kyo, well, Barry just wasn't on his game as usual, but a wee bit injured, suffering from an injury. But by God, he's some player when he's gone. Being a supporter, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you your man of the match in the cup final. Well, I, I just give it a Jim Cleary. The whole back four were terrific, but Jim encountered the penalty kick. I'd have to give it to him. He'd edge, he'd edge, in, edge he'd just edge in front. There. And the scenes at Dublin Street when the team arrived home. Oh, never seen nothing like it. Never in my life. Can never you remember seen anything the dog like it? Down several times with the cup. Never. It was absolutely terrific. It was great. You told me earlier on today that you do remember uh, going back to 1941, a cup final then. Uh, you were only at school, obviously. Oh, indeed, I was only about eight years of age at the time. Joey Donnelly was the captain of the team, I think, at the time. And they came down on an open coach, drawn by horses. Horses pulling the coach down from the station that day. Oh, it was absolutely terrific, too. So it, it, nothing like the scenes that we had on the last run the night. It was wonderful. It seems Everybody was out in the town. Gaelic fans and everything were out. They were even up in Daily Man. How would you compare the... 1980 double winning team compared with the Jim McLaughlin one? Well, I don't, that's such a hard one. That's, that's put me on the spot. Yeah, that's, right. that is putting you on the spot. Is. But I think the team that they, I don't know. It was, it was a, I couldn't answer that one. It was a longer Wait league, on. wasn't it? 33 it was games. Then. Yes, yes. Well, so. uh, this was a very tough league and a hard league. Because okay, Peter. The dog was going to blow it, but my God, they done the stuff. They done the, the stuff. The last seven games were seven cup finals. Would you agree with well, that? I need everyone. everyone.